I'm a composer from an electronic music background. Um, I like to work with very small details of sound. Um, so I was really interested to work with the tuba. Um, so that's why I'm working with uh, Orin Marshall and we're going to be working together on some very um, interesting and unusual sounds from the tuba. Um, so sort of things that you might not necessarily expect. Um, and then I'll be working on a four channel electronic part to sort of spatialize the tuba in a in a different way than has probably than you've probably heard it before. The workshops have been really interesting. It's also been useful from a in a more general way to what to sort of watch how other people work, um, which isn't has in general been quite different to the way I work, so it's it's just a bit of an eye opener really. I'm approaching the piece differently because I know it's going to be performed live, if that makes sense. So for me, it's much more usual to have it recorded and presented as a fixed piece. Um, and maybe the slightly more unusual aspect is having it performed uh, with a live instrumentalist. So I'm trying to um, think about both of those things in the composition. I, I think a recording is very different. You can't, you can't expect a recording to represent what a live concert would be like, but that doesn't mean that it's any more or less important, I don't think. I think you should just be aware of w what medium you're listening to the composition through at the time, and that could be listening to a recording as a group within a completely different room, which is, you know, that's a valid experience. But then if you listen to that same piece in a concert hall, obviously it's going to be different.